Hiya, uh, welcome to Safi's channel and that. Hello, hello, hello. It's me, Safi. Hi, guys. You all right? You good? You feel? You chilling? You chilling? Saw so you enjoyed my last video where I talked very frankly about my sex life. Currently at like 700 views. Thanks for that. Thanks for the extra subscribers. Welcome to my family. I need to think of a name. Right. You used to be called the Safatrons, but I think that's a little... I don't know, prepubescent, it's a little bit, oh, tweeny, fucking Twilight. I used to like Twilight. I used to have braces. I used to like Twilight. I was one of them fucking melts. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's half past nine. I'm just chilling. Ordered something from Deliveroo. Just waiting for the Deliveroo I can't afford. Saffron. Eh? Nice one. Is that everything yet? Nice one, Kushti. See you later. Bye. Bye. I can't afford this. dividing society between the rich and the poor, the working class, the middle class, upper class elites. So recently at university, um, just gone, I uh, worked with some other people on a motion to introduce a working class officer. Didn't pass. Many assume that working class is merely an indicator of monetary income. However, class action stated that our class identity affects us on a personal and emotional level, not just in economic terms. A lot of students, more than half, I'm pretty sure more than half of students at the, at the uh, university MR are privately educated, which is in no way a single indicator of someone being middle class, etc. It's very, this, it's very hard to like, to, it's reminding me to take my Prozac depression. But basically the subject of this video is a lovely young person called Hetty Douglas. Hetty Douglas is a recent graduate from the University of some posh one. She was in McDonald's, took a picture of her on her Instagram story of some builders in there and then said, these guys look like they got one GCSE. First of all, it's impossible to make that. Fucking hell, why have I got a double chin? I'm trying to make important conversations and I just look like a fucking egg. Right, okay. So she looked at these people and made an instant judgment because of their profession. I read through the apology. It's, it's, and I know people are gonna like sigh when I use this word, but privilege, right? She made a judgment and bear in mind, she's been well known for appropriating like working class image. I, I notice it a lot at university. There's been nights at my university that are chav nights, chav socials, where people will put fake tan on, put their hair up in a tight bun, have a baby doll in their arms and like track suits and that. So they're basically, they, they're trying to dress up to look like people who lived around me, the the communities of people in estates. I lived in, council, in a council house, but why is that a bad thing? Why is that a joke? Why are people using that as a costume? A costume is inherently like a character caricature of something. People can wear whatever the fuck they want, but when you're using it as a costume, that's one issue. But she's very rich. She's very well off. That's not an assumption I'm making. That's fucking said in these articles. And she's like dressing up like these people, but then she's taking piss out of them in her Mackie D's. Like, bear in mind, I'm a working class individual, grew up in a council house, had a single mum for me for, for when I was younger, shared a room with my sister, had free pat lunches in school. <laughs> You shouldn't judge a book by its cover, and it's cliche, I know, but you shouldn't look at someone and make an immediate assessment. And who fucking cares if people don't have GCSEs? Why is that a bad thing? Just because someone doesn't have GCSEs doesn't mean they're stupid or lesser or not as good a person as you or not doesn't deserve that respect. That's just, oh, bullshit. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, keep those views coming. If we can get to 30 likes on this video, I'll be very chuffed. Get to 30 likes. And follow me on Twitter, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, all that shiz. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>